Hi, this is Brandon with Kyra Rope. I want to go over a quick case that I saw today that highlights a common issue that uh, we all see in our practices concerning treating the foot. And what I saw today was somebody who came in with a uh, reoccurring fracture of their foot. It happened to be a Jones fracture. Uh, Jones fracture is a fracture of the fifth metatarsal. And all that means is that person is exceeding their capacity level. It is that the way they're walking, the way they're moving, the habits or sports they've selected have, uh, have started to create stress on a bone and eventually it will fracture. Now, it doesn't happen on everybody. It just so happens when people start to load the lateral column more so than everybody else, uh, they start to put more stress on the fourth and fifth metatarsal. Those are our patients with our supinated feet, as you see here. And what happens is they load their foot on the lateral side uh, of, of their foot when they're walking, when they're running, when they're hiking. That creates several issues. But the first issue is, is if that's done slowly over time, what you get is a bunion or a fifth metatarsal bursitis. And what that is, is a slow uh, adaptation to that response. If you do it quickly, that's when you can develop those Jones fractures. Uh, the solution to that is one, treat it and improve their foot core, which we'll go over in a second. Or number two, put a screw through it, as you see here. I would go for the rehab first if it was uh, my, uh, my option. So what I do for these conditions, especially when I'm looking at somebody with Achilles tendinosis, I'm looking at a plantar fasciosis, uh, I'm looking at any of the conditions we see in our, our lower extremity, especially those like a tarsal tunnel or a posterior tibial tendonitis that's been reoccurring for many months or years, is I teach the person what they're doing wrong, not necessarily their orthopedic condition. And what these people are normally doing wrong is loading their foot improperly. They've been taught that if they squat on their heels, they're going to stimulate their glutes more. Or they've been taught to heel strike or midfoot strike when they run and they uh, create a, a pattern uh, that is, uh, is loading the outside of their foot. So when you teach someone what they should be doing, in this case the foot, meaning a third of your weight should be on your heel. A third of your weight should be on the outside of your foot and a third of your weight should be on the inside of your foot when you're walking, when you're hiking, when you're squatting, when you're doing all your rehab exercises, all these things uh, uh, compile together uh, to create a better foot core, meaning you're using the muscles. You're using the joints, you're using the ligaments, and your brain is learning how to load that, uh, that segment. It's the same thing that if we talk about the lumbar spine or the shoulder, all three of those components need to be in line. So, the next time you have somebody with an orthopedic condition, and the problem is in the foot, the lower extremity, make sure you address the foot core. Addressing how to load the foot at all three points, and now when they go to do an exercise like you see here with Valet's exercise, when they're leaning towards the wall, making sure not to take the, uh, the heel off the ground, they're loading all three points uh, the same. When you're doing a single leg stance, when you're doing a posterior lunge or a semi-stiff deadlift, you should be incorporating all those things all at once. When that person understands what they're doing, understands why they're doing it, your rehab uh, outcomes will dramatically in increase uh, because they're going to carry that over into their normal uh, hobbies and their normal habits and the way they walk to hopefully offload that uh, fifth metatarsal and hopefully not get that screw in their foot. Uh, I hope this helps. This is one of those things that I had to do a little bit of research on. I, I haven't seen a whole lot of Jones fractures in my practice, but it's the same thing like everything else. Give the people a proper education, give them the right set of exercises, have them understand why they're doing what they're doing, and, and patient outcomes come along with it. Thank <laughs> you.